Ahoy, shipmates! Very last minute, this one happens to get back in time. And not only did I get back in time, our cage has been slightly delayed from a 4.30 departure to a 5 o'clock departure. Ahoy there, Vanessa Wells, and ahoy there, Bertie Doe, and ahoy there, Elizabeth G. And ahoy there, Chuck Gubby. And ahoy there, Mark G. Mark G, are you relation to Elizabeth G? Mm, could be. I just heard on the radio that the captain said, or the pilot said, that they were just taking in the air bridge and they would be off uh, shortly. I can't see anything going on particularly. We have a two-ship departure scheduled for this evening. Uh, five o'clock on a delayed departure is Arcadia. And then at seven o'clock is the Ada Soul. Ada Soul. I mispronounce it how I please with that one. So a little nose around, shall we? Else? It's been a very blustery day here in port. I mean, I, I don't know if you can quite see. Now those clouds are rushing by. It's a bit of strange weather, it's sort of humid. Uh, it's been the odd spot of rain. Uh, but it's very windy, and uh, one minute you're chilly because the wind's quite strong. The next minute the sun comes out a little bit, and it's very warm. So it's an odd day. I was half wondering if there might be tug assistance for Arcadia. I'm guessing it's going to be fairly breezy. We could check the, let's check the weather, shall we? Uh, we have what do we have weather for docks uh, that's not too bad mean speeds roughly 20 knots gusting to 22 i thought it was probably on the cusp of requiring tug assistance you can see there's quite a few people up on the stern here i can hear the dulcet tones of sweet caroline being blasted over i'm guessing it's coming from up here somewhere up on the bar there's be a lot of shipmates up there uh, adequately attired hopefully for this uh, the strange and variable wind conditions see the chap there hopefully quaffing back a rum based cocktail uh, there we go it's making me very thirsty watching all this Oh, Kevin Two's coming in with some information saying that she will be assisted by a couple of tugs here. I've only just got back to my cabin here, so I'm slightly out of touch. So I suspected it would be uh, due to 15 knot plus winds blowing straight on her bow. Oh, there we go. I felt like it would be a tug assisted departure. Yeah, it does look a bit breezy. You can see the ladies' dresses blowing around, so it's a good indication of a wind force. Hey, how much flutter from the skirts. That's quite busy up there on the stern, isn't it? Haven't seen any wavers yet. But the two ships are departing today from here in the port of Southampton. And we have Arcadia's just in front of us on the 46 berth. She's just here on the 46 berth. And also on the cruise cam, we can see the other Roro carrier here. The old Piranha. And then all the way back up in port is Ada Sol, all the way up there. And she's departing at seven. She'll come straight down. Uh, or Arcadia will whiz out here. 
Oh, there he goes. Okay, damn. Signaling up on 46 first on the move shortly. Singling up, so it'll be on the move ever so shortly. I'm if I can get to uh, get a better view, shall we? I have enough of these watching these people enjoy their rum based cocktails. Very frustrating. I must say, my it must be quite warm because I can feel my cabin heating up now. I've put my computer on, busy generating lots of hot air. Let's have a look what's going on the front here. Oh, yep, I've just down to a few lines now, so yep, definitely singling up. Water it does look a little bit choppy as well. Hardly surprising with a sort of twenty gut, twenty knot gusts of wind. I was going to say twenty gut not knots of wind. I suppose you could have a knot of wind. I suppose. Hopefully, netly cam won't be too wobbly. Netly cam does suffer a bit with wibbly wobbles. Mm. It's got a touch of the wobbles about it. There's those lines coming in from the bow. May hear some hootage later, a bit of hornage. Difficult to know. Hoi there, John Whitaker. And hoi there to all our spanners. We've got uh, Andrew Monument, Carmen, and Kevin, too, at the moment. I believe those are our current spanners. I think Arcadia is off. Ah, Carmen's got that information for me. Thank you, Carmen. I was going to say, I think she's off on a 16 night or somewhere. A 16 night Scandinavian and Baltic Sea cruise via Gothenburg, Visby, Stockholm, Helsinki, Tallinn, Riga, Kiel, and Fredacia. Fredacia? Sounds like a place for Fred's. Just the one line left. Hold it out. Um, I didn't see the tugs on the uh, VTS. Oh, look, see if I can see the tug on the AIS map. Hmm, well, that's Fitzer Bargate potentially is there to do a bit of tugging. Maybe it's only just the one tug. Difficult to see. A big cruise ship in the way. And you can see the piano house flag on the bow is very stiff today. Look at that, almost perfect. A little chap there's hiding in the well deck with his little hard hats on. Let's have a little look around the rest of the ship, shall we? Hopefully we'll hear, we'll hopefully hear some horns. Sometimes I find P&O ships less likely to horn than other ships. Just not quite as horny P&O ships. The princess lines seem to be the horniest. They're always barking out the love theme tune all the time when they leave. Twice, sometimes, three times. Oh, they're Matt King.
Yes, uh, red just That's a hard line in. certainly looks like there's a bit of a crowd out here on the stern, doesn't it? I think that's where the party central is at the moment. I did hear passenger numbers, but I didn't write them down. I think it was something like... Uh, oh, there we go. Matt Kane got it. 1,164 passengers. So that's not as many as you I would have thought. Recently, the ships I've noticed have been going out seem to be pretty full. Arcadia has a uh, maximum passenger capacity of 2,400-ish. Uh, and there's only, what was that, 1,200? Yeah, 1,164. So, full of half capacity, which is unusual, because lately these ships have been going out much fuller than usual. At least because of the COVID and isolations and all these sorts of things, they've been going out almost sort of two-thirds capacity. Definitely looking a spot breezy on the stern there. Arcadia, one of the older ships in in the PO fleet, uh, launched in sort of June of 2004, I seem to remember. Plenty of people out of the balconies. I see a shipmate there with some binoculars. I think we've all decided the stern cabins are the place to be. Much as I like the idea of the bow cabins, I think the breeze will just drive you to insanity. Oh, there, Katie. Oh, there, Gemma Harris. And there is one of the Red Funnel ferries, which I presume is there because they're on strike at the moment because it's Cow's Week. Just to throw spanners into the buckets of travel woes in this time, we've got a ferry strike here in the Port of Southampton. See, Arcadia's getting a, a nice bit of a turn on here. I don't think she's got azipods, so I should check that, shouldn't I? Turning into the sun. What a lovely view that is, eh? Particularly like it when they turn this way. We get to see them spin rather well. If they if they reverse out, like Iona tends to do, we don't really get to see a spin. She reverses out and reverses off the side of the screen and then comes back on again. Exit stage right, enter stage right. <laughs> There we go, all the way down the ship. You get a good idea here how quickly they're spinning. Good old spin on. Like, oh, I'm not sure if the Bargate is assisting there or not, really. I think the Bargate may just be there for moral support rather than actual physically attached. I can't see any lines there, unless my eyesight's 
failing me, which of course it could be. No, I think he's just there just in case, I think. It was a just in case level of support from the tug there. I get a view here of the wing bridge there. Oh, it looks like there was a ship, one of the crew wandering around. Keeping an eye on the shipmates, I suspect. Off on an ever popular Scandinavian fjord cruise, but plus, she's obviously going up to parts of Europe, the more remote parts of Europe, to uh, Sweden and Finland and even Latvia. So certainly a, an interesting trip there. Might be nice to go away to somewhere that's slightly cooler for a change. Let's see if we got. I thought I saw someone waving. Oh yeah, there's some there's some shipmates waving. Thought I saw someone waving. There we go. There's some wavers. It's just going to slip behind the old Piranha Roro there. Oops, hello. What's going on here? Bugs. Oh, go back to this one there. Oops, sorry about that shipmate. I'm not quite sure what was going on there. It was working earlier, honestly. Seem to have a problem with netting cam. Trying to persuade it to work, it doesn't want to seem to work. It's rather annoying. <laughs> oh well. Ah, oh, you got to like technology. Most of the time, it's pretty good. It just occasionally has a bit of a hiccup. Generally very reliable, but just occasionally doesn't seem to want to play. There's lots of bits of equipment in use, and sometimes they just I don't know, they just don't seem to get on with each other. So you let it fall out with each other. Let's uh, try this though. There we go. That'll do. There is Arcadia coming down Netley. A bit uh, wobbly on Netley Cam today. It's an indication of the strength of the breeze. The sun has come out though, so that makes for a very nice departure. Like I say, and off to the ever popular fjord destinations. I mean, it just seems like that's the only place that most of these cruise ships are going to these days, the fjords. Not that there's anything wrong with the fjords, of course. And that must be one of the red funnels that's not on strike.
Uh, we'll, and then we'll have the Adasol coming from further docks at seven o'clock. Ocean scene is one of the sort of, I was going to say pleasure, so um, I was thinking of party boats. That's probably why I should be saying party boats. She's one of the party boats in the area. Uh, she'll be taking people out to see the different cruise ships coming or going for the enjoyment of land based shipmates. realize that I can't I can't give you I can't see the chat due to due to a technical a snafu We are going to get Netley Cam straightened up and uh, and some guys fitted. That's a part of a whole extensive we refit works down at the Netley Cliff Sailing Club, and I'm just waiting for them really to uh, help me out. So it eventually will be a level and hopefully not as wobbly. That's the plan. I'm looking on cruise cam, but it's, it's almost impossible to see Arcadia from behind the row rows, which I seem to be quite a few in today. Three, I think it's three, three row rows in at this end of the dockhead into port. It's very unusual. We're constantly seeing them coming and going all the time. Not only the importing cars, they're also exporting, exporting a, quite, a, quite a few cars. Range Rovers, Bentleys, and lots of minis, of course. Looks like we'll have Arcadia on cruise cam about now. Uh, I'll go back to the chats. Hoi, the Etienne, Rolf. Another one of our spanners is Etienne's. Epstein's speciality is particularly the Isle of Wight. He's a local Isle of Wight boy. He's from the he's from the small island. He likes to refer to us as being from the big island. Actually, visibility is not the clearest today. It's quite hazy down there on the way to the way. VTS, VTS, they'll try to marry them. Uh, VTS, uh, yeah, we're trying to get to here. That's not possible. So uh, we're going to just proceed back down and to our berth in Hamble instead. Over. Hello, Elizabeth Jean. She also says Etienne's well known for growing carrots. That is true. This is why his eyesight is so good. I believe uh, next year he's thinking of entering the Isle of Wight carrot growing contest. We'll certainly have the support of everyone here on the channel. We hope to see his efforts. Well, at least he's 
At least he's entering the competition now anyway. He has to. I've said I've said he's going to. Hi there, Lewis McDonald. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing. Some lovely conditions out there today. I'm suspecting we might see a few kite surfers. It looks like it'd be good for that. It's a good stiff breeze. A little bit of chop, not too much. Oh, I'm not as he become a new subscribing shipmate. He's just given us a donation. Well, thank you very much, shipmate. All donations much greatly appreciated. Most will go to expanding the camera network. Some will go to a, a few glasses run for the captain. I think not, not the best of it, but it's not bad. A uh, bit, bit humid out there, so I wonder if that's causing a drop of visibility. Quite windy, so it's probably blowing away any of that Sahara sand that's lurking about. I've had quite a lot of that lately. Away from Sahara, when it uh, comes out of the sky, it makes your car rather red. After the departure of Arcadia, will the Eight of Soul will be departing about five o'clock, probably on the screen. I'd say probably quarter past. Sorry, seven o'clock, quarter past seven, seven thirty, something that sort of that sort of region. And I'm not quite sure where the Eight of Souls off to. I'm guessing, really Germany, Bremen. Don't know. Probably one of the spanners knows, I suspect. Oh, with the Ellie Burley. Oh, with the JK. Oh, with the Brina Clark. Oh, carrot logos everywhere, carrot icons. Ah, oh, excellent. Uh, Matt King's giving me the information I was after. He hey, the souls off on a 12 night cruise, the English Channel Bay of Biscay. Down to La Coruna, Gijon, Bilbao, Le Verdun, Sumer, Brest, and Cherbourg. Oh, that's a slight different there. I need to move this camera. Where's my thing with Bob Control gone? It's moving quite quick. Whew, there we go. Just going to disappear behind that pesky crane again.
not much in the way of pleasure craft traffic out there today, although you would think with cows weak. Currently we are on uh, day four of Cow's Week. As far as I know, it's been pretty good, I would have thought, for Cow's Week this year. I mean, yes, they've had some horrendously strong winds. We haven't had anything too strong this year. do want a, a bit of a breeze it does make things more exciting just approaching the widest part of Southampton Water on the way off to a Scandinavian field trip. It's going past the SO terminal here. It's the only place the ships can pass each other. Well, at least it uh, looks quite choppy out there today. It is uh, it's a little bit choppy, definitely. So I'm surprised we're not seeing more of the kite surfing chaps in when we down this area. Well, oh, Mr. Uh, shipmate Mr. Miyagi does has a yacht sank the last few days uh, during cow weeks. Oh, I didn't know about that. That's uh, that's unusual. It does happen though, but that's a bit unusual. I did hear there's been quite has been quite a few yachts sinking lately. The Coast Guard had to go out last weekend. Oh, is it Stephen Joy also in the chat as well? and Raw talking about islanders being called corkheads. Part of the process of making a wooden boat on the islands, they packed the cork between the planks of wood. There we go. Ever a learning day here. Hoi there, Joanne Horton says, where is Arcadia off to? And I, Steve Joy of Filled you in with the information. A 16 night Scandinavian cruise to Gothenburg, Visby, Stockholm, Helsinki, Tallinn, Riga, Kiel, and Frederica. Hoi there, Alan Bailey says, will I be covering Anthem of the Seed on Friday as a brother will be on it? I might well be. Uh, if, uh, if I'm not doing a live stream, certainly the cameras will be following. Uh, I might well be. I'm uh, going to be experimenting, actually, with something. So it may or may not work. So if it doesn't work, uh, you'll know it won't work because you won't know any difference. But if it does work, it'll be different. Does that make sense? Probably not. So 
Let's have a quick look on cruise cam and see quite where the Arcadia's just started to bend round Cowshot Spit. So it actually has become quite sunny here at the tail end of the day. It really does look like the ships go for a right old zigzag down south of the water, but in all honesty, you can't feel it. You barely even notice they're turning. It's not to get the cow shot spits, and even then, I think you can only tell because you're looking at the land. You can't tell on board. Almost imperceivable. Monument, one of our spanners. I wonder if he's leading, listing slightly. Well, she is turning, so there is a chance that as she's turning, she will be listing. Shipmate Mr. Miyagi Doe suggests that there's only 23 likes. And 317 watches. Well, 110 likes now, so perhaps, uh, perhaps your little message did the trick there, shipmate. Interesting to hear that shipmates a submerged dinghy over by Bramble Bank. So we've got the five five o'clock departure of Arcadia. And then we'll have the seven o'clock departure of Ada Soul. That won't be for a little while. In fact, quite a while. Red jet uh, blasting down southern towards there. They are typically quite a bit faster. The cruise ships, in fact, let's have a look. So we see what the speeds are. Now we'll have the Arcadia here just over opposite the SO terminals and uh, the mouth of the River Hamble. It's currently trundling along at 11 odd knots and then the red jet doing a much more exciting 34 knots red jet's an ideal way to get to the isle of watch if you're just past truly
I currently have Arcadia getting close to Cowshot Castle. I don't know if it's me, but I think that visibility is not improving. It's getting slightly worse. Plenty of seagulls about to learn as well. Not clear why that would be. They seem to have a very strange pattern of behaviour, seagulls. I've noticed they block around, especially this time of year. Something like it's about four o'clock in the morning, you'll just have a big pack of them and they'll all start crying and. They'll start crying and screaming at four in the morning and wake you up and then it'll, it'll disappear again. I think it's just not one elaborate prank, if you ask me. Just about to get Arcadia onto cruise cam now. Let's see if I can switch it over. Well, they Mike, Matt, sorry, Matt Carter says if they pass the COVID test, they will be sailing on Friday. It will give us a wave from the anthem of the seas. Excellent ship, mate. Looking forward to that. So I suggest somewhere up on top. Well, the Edward says, very considerate not to leave at six o'clock. Yes, I agree. They either they all tend to leave at the same time or they put an inconvenient amount of spread between the departures. So, I mean, someone's just not factoring in uh, ship's TV, are they? Well, the Bertie Doe says it's... Uh, Probably feeding on a shoal of sprats, uh, buffet for gulls. Uh, maybe that's what it is. Yeah, they do. They do seem to lurk in places. So yeah, you're probably right. Probably having a, a little bit of a buffet down there. Speaking of buffets, I know it's only quarter to six, but uh, I could certainly do a bit of galley action. See Arcadia now turning towards Cashot Castle. Oh, there, shipmate William Jones asks if shipmates are still having to wear C19 masks on board cruise ships. What's a good question, shipmate? I don't know. I'll have to ask see if any shipmates have been on board a cruise ship recently. Did you have to wear a C19 mask? I'm not sure what a C19 mask is. With her Ellie Burley says uh, a good view to see how much faster the red jet is than Arcadia. Absolutely right, shipmate. They are considerably faster. Doesn't really, you don't really notice, but once you get them at the right angles, yes, it's amazing. Oi there, Vanessa Wells.
Well, if you're enjoying this broadcast, shipmates, uh, please do think about hitting that subscribe button. Oh. All subscribers, greatly appreciated. Come join the crew. Have a good time. And then next time I go live, you'll get a notification. Oh, Reese Walker says C19 equals COVID-19. Oh, I see. Shorthand. Oh. Oh. Didn't know there's a particular mask for COVID-19, but there we go. News Google says that no mask unless you want to wear one on Aurora back in May, although you had to wear them on the shore excursions. Matt King suggests that on the open water it wouldn't be so clear. No, you're right, Sam. If it was uh, Queen Mary 2, for instance, she's got top speed of 30 knots, she'd be giving uh, Red Jet a good run for her money. Bertie Doe says last time he went fishing for mackerel, all oh, I got was weeds. Hmm. That's a familiar tale, I feel. Don't think I'm even that lucky to get weeds. It looks like it's getting more overcast. Anything should be it's just going greyer. The colour seems to be going. It's almost like I've turning this into a black and white production but i'm not i've not touched the colors i think it's just clouding over becoming a bit hazy in this tail end of the day that's the arcadia just just about disappeared behind the so terminal on her way to cowshot castle See the red jet blasting down Southampton Water there. It's a bit wibbly wobbly, isn't it? It's very annoying. Seven. 
Not often you get small pleasure craft calling BTS. I mean. Louis, BTS, confirmed. They normally have to be over a certain size. So she must be quite a big pleasure craft. I can see. I can't see any kite surface, so it's obviously not the weather for kite surfing today. I'm not quite sure why that is. Possibly water's a bit choppy. We've just about got a view of Arcadia. Slipping past Cowshot Spit. On the way around Bramble Bank and off out to the fields. I think that's the last we see of Arcadia on cruise cam. Uh, what's it like out in Isle of Wight? Well, not too bad. There we go, shipmates. There's the Ed Souls just called in, so she sounds like she'll be ready to part, but not until seven. That's quite a way, and we've. Wedge at 4 BTS, yes, sir, it's safe to do so. Hi, please, fascination docking. And we'll just about to see the last of Arcadia. I should be. I shall sign off for a while while I go and perform some galley duties. So if you have enjoyed this channel, please do think about subscribing. I'd just like to thank all of my PayPal donors, members of the channels, the Patreons, and of course the Blue Spanner crew for doing such a brilliant job of handling the chat and filling in all that information that the captain just doesn't 
mind very easily or it's arrived too late to do any research because he uh, just can't get his timings right these days so well i should get the broadcast running shipmates but i would imagine that you're not going to see any more of uh sorry you're not going to see arcadia until roughly about if she was about some time about a quarter past seven sort of 7 20 that sort of time So for the moment of shipmates, I shall just leave it here. Seeing these guests, I'll receive it. Thank you.
ETS, Red Falcon, shortly departing, roll for the cows. Yes, Red Falcons, Park and Roll, pay for cows. Good evening, sir, sir, please, and uh, you have a copy of Silver. Um, it's Western Shop, and that was found on the Pigeon Trials. And I'm going to go for you. All copy, thanks so much. I read off when you said so, thank you. Um, if you're in the phone, sir.
Hampton VTS, the Semex Go Innovation, good evening. Semex Go Innovation, VTS, good evening. Uh, VTS, uh, the Semex Go Innovation, good evening, sir. I'm um, currently berthed at berth 25 in Empress, as you're aware. Um, I need to do a lift um, from the vessel, uh, which involves uh, me having to... Uh, move my shore conveyor boom. Unfortunately, with the ship's position alongside, we're too close to the car park for me to be able to swing the boom out fully. So with your permission, so what I'd like to do is uh, just let go of my two stern lines and lift the stern of the vessel away from the key to give me enough room to uh, move my shore conveyor boom. Intentions will be to uh, keep the forward line secure at all times. Uh, are you happy with that, over? Uh, yeah, stand by, sir, stand by. Right, just stand by. Right, 
ya está ya está ahí, ya está ahí, ya está ahí.
Yes, red jet six, sure it's thank you.
Thank you.
Yes, I hear the phone. I saw you, Jess. Good evening. Yeah, of course, he's Yeah, just for you at the moment.
on this channel for BTS and 9 for pilots all the time. Yes, Red Osprey. Good afternoon again. Approaching hard line inbound. Push to carry on.
take your colleagues off and meet this. Uh, see, so it's straight, uh, we just, yes, uh, 10 all, uh, 20, please, 10 all 20. Or sir, I'll be just good evening. Or sir, 
each has received. Thank you. Pretty cool. I eat a soul of each other and receive some. Start three, C start three, B test. Yes, sir, good evening. Uh, may we have the name of the vessel, sir, please?
uh, sea start three meters uh, from the Coast Guard. From the Coast Guard, if um, the persons can contact Coast Guard on channel 16 or uh, by telephone 999 uh, over the Coast Guard, please, or yourselves uh, on channel 16. Yes, please, sir. Thank you. I just hope he just wasn't sure. Thank you so much. I eat a salt beef here. Anything I need to know about the takedown? Is that all broken down? That well ensure, sir. Very well ensure. Uh, close to even to the dry land there. Uh, towards PPJ on the western side of the uh, pier. Okay, thank you. Um, whilst you're there, we had received a report that there's a raising boy being put in place. Approximate position, um, four cables west of west right middle. That's the only info that we have, sir. VTS outbound the Aida Soul approaching off West Atlee.
here with the SRO report. Thank you, sir. Musketeer BTS. So, having the uh, liquid C inbound as a uh, request contact, liquid C on this channel, please confirm your passing arrangements, uh, Bridge to Bridge.
Uh, Musketeer of ETS, um, copy of passing arrangements, sir. Uh, thank you for that. Thank you. Uh, Red Falcon EGS, good evening, outbound traffic, the AIDA Soul passing fully deep, we have on clear town.
Hey, the soul we just received the chemical tanker Lake C approaching Warner Boy inbound to the pilot boarding time is 20 hundred at Fox Road. Yeah, right off the page, just people up here, permission to come to speak, please. 